Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time we introduced the 15th century Bohemia. We got to meet our character Henry, and then we got to do some errands. This time, we'll start off being trained in combat. So, can we get started? Yes. We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Alright, now this is where I'm having fun with this game. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Alright, alright. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Hey. Very good. Not bad. Dead. All right. Good. Very good. Very good. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. All right, stab. Fine. Nice. Very good. Very good. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. about you but I'm tired and thirsty remember though train hard no one becomes a master swordsman overnight you have to work and work and the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat there's nothing better than experience believe me hey that the truth I keep forgetting B sprint it's such a weird sprint button especially for playing Call of Duty the last couple of days All right, we have the tavern. You can't be serious, sir. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to do. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king. Because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, the Henry. Pope I'm with you, Matthew. So What's going on here? Deutsche Spalling ship. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire! <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzi is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too, I'm Matthew. Should give him a proper hiding. 
Nick, are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for it? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some turns will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Uh, we could be a good guy or we could be a bad guy, but define who's good or bad. This is fun. Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Well, oh yeah, we're some schisms. God, the 15th century was so whack. Um, like, King of Bohemia is the last emperor of... Last Bohem the last emperor of the Holy Roman Empire that wasn't Austrian. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. He is? Ah, uh, you guys all sound that bright. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. You're a good wife. And I helped. I guess. Bill on strength. What? How did I get strength? What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshas! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, hands! Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! Let's make those smites off your faces! You uh, will? I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this proxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. Oh no! Don't beat you! What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! The 
The catch pole is on his way. Come on, friends. Run, you coward. We win this fight. Me up the plans, man. Heck, that was good points. The heck is a catch pole? That's what I really want to know. Outside, little four walls here. It's gonna stop it from anything, right? Yeah, I'm Henry. Yeah. All right. How did I beat everybody here? Okay, I did not expect to beat him by this bad. We have a winner! Huh. Oh, I already made it. It's about time. You guys are slow. We sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? <laughs> that old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. It's a good thing your Hanko warned us. Well-behaved girl like that. I'm surprised you didn't call the catch pole. She must have seen Matthias. What do you mean? Because he fancies her. And I think maybe she likes the look of him too. Hey, <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. <laughs> anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Good day, Henry. Let's go visit the lady friend. And then come back to visit the last part. Come right up and take some home. Everything for the house. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And a cart for my beauty? What else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. But of course. Now the reason why you do this part last is because it can't the, the, the ale can't warm up. Thanks. It's a me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. Point two. You'll have something corrosion. to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Mania. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But 
What in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Pal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Shave your snaps, basically your quick save. It's kind of weird that... Yeah, level two. Go to the father to the four. They did the shave your schnapps. But let's go visit father again after doing all the chores with his ale. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right, let's see what kind of job the Master and Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. We got the charcoal. Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure. You and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well, and having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught. Making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb.
Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> hey, we finally get to move. Go and get the nails for Teresa. take all of this. I don't... It's my family. They'll be okay with it. You know... Next time on Kingdom Come Deliverance we'll give the nails to Teresa and finish up the sword. I'll see you then. <laughs>